Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this result that result is in any matrix space XD every finite set is compact. Okay, so let us consider a matrix space XD. Let, let XD be any matrix space, right? And we have a finite subset of X. So let a is equal to so a is a finite set that means a has finite number of elements so let us consider a has n number of elements right so a is equal to y1 y2 and so on yn be a finite subset of x so i have consider a finite subset of x and what we have to prove we have to prove that it is compact so we have to prove that a is compact let me mention here to prove that a is compact compact means what every open cover has a finite sub cover so here we have to prove every open cover of a has a finite sub cover so let us consider any open cover of a so let script c g alpha generally we take the same open cover g alpha Alpha belongs to lambda. B any open cover of A. So this is the open cover of get A. Getting open cover of A means what? Each set is open and it covers A. That means there A is subset of their union. So therefore, A is subset of union of G alpha. Alpha belongs to lambda. So let, let us denote by star, right? So this is a very important information we have. So right now we have an open cover of A and we have to prove that it has a finite sub cover. Okay. Let me show here in a diagram. So such matrix space we have XD is a matrix space getting so XD is a matrix space. We have a subset of uh, X which is A. A is finite. This is a very important information and it's right now we have an open cover of A that means we have a collection of open sets such that their union is covering A. So such open cover we have, right? So here, uh, here, y i belongs to A for all i running from 1 to n. Getting? So y i. So A has n number of elements, y1, y2, y3, and so on, so on y n. So each element belongs to A, right? But A is subset of union. So what can we write from these two? So therefore, therefore, getting? So YI belongs to A, but A is subset of this union. So YI belongs to union. Alpha belongs to lambda, getting? So YI, YI is any element, arbitrary element, getting? So YI belongs to union, belongs to union. That means that YI belongs to some open subset okay open set of this so therefore i can write so therefore there exist some alpha i belongs to lambda such that such that y i belongs to g alpha i you are getting so there are many sets g alpha one g alpha two many set g alpha are there so y i belongs to union that means that y i belongs to at least one set so i'm denoting it by g alpha i and this is true for all i so i running from 1 to n so what i want to say that is let me write uh, in details that is y1 belongs to g alpha 1 y2 belongs to g alpha 2 and so on y n belongs to g alpha n so therefore therefore we can write the set y1 y2 y3 and so on is subset of what see y1 belongs to this one y2 belongs to this g alpha 2 and so on y n belongs to g alpha n so if you consider all these elements then obviously it is subset of g alpha 1 union g alpha 2 union g alpha 3 union and so on the last one will be g alpha n getting since the first element belongs to first set second element belongs to second set and so on nth element belongs to n set okay so make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. Okay, but see, this is nothing but our set A, right? This is our set A. So therefore, what can I write? 
therefore a is subset of subset of g alpha 1 union g alpha 2 and so on g alpha i so uh, in a simple language we can write union g alpha i i running from 1 to n getting so actually we started with any open cover of a g alpha alpha belongs to lambda but here we got there are n subsets there are n sets g alpha 1 g alpha 2 and so on g alpha n which can cover the entire set a so therefore i can declare so therefore therefore i can declare that script c dash which contains g alpha 1 g alpha 2 and so on g alpha n is a finite subcover is a finite subcover of script c for a you are getting the meaning of it finite subcover finite means what it has finite number of elements subcover means what it is a cover basically it is a cover of a subcover that means it is a sub collection of script c so we got a finite subcover for open cover script c right so let me mention here therefore every every open cover of a has finite subcover has finite subcover see uh, what i want to say we started with any open cover of a and finally we got it has a finite subcover so it is true for every open cover so therefore directly i wrote every open cover of a has a finite subcover so this is definition of compact matrix space so therefore we can say a is compact so therefore a is compact so in this way we proved if you have a finite set then definitely it is a compact set right so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you